Okay, we're pretty much getting into the end of this yarn. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to do myself a favor and I'm going to flip this around this way. Have some room here. And I've already done a lot of flexing. The bottom of this wand is ready for the big chunk. Sometimes I use a rod of solder as um, like a third hand. This is what I'm doing with this. Just helps so you don't have to fumble around so much with your fingers while the gloves are on. And I do recommend gloves for anybody that does this for any length of time. Because the flux, no matter how um, no matter uh, you know how uh, gentle the flux, you know. Uh, it's still going to wreak havoc on your skin. Okay, so now I want to put it, I'm going to move it around so I can get the bottom, back, whatever you want to call it, done. I want to make sure this is on here. As well as possible.
Okay, you're going to do the fine finishing touches of that. And you can see it essentially, that's the, the end of it. I'm going to do the fine finishing touches uh, off camera. And I do want to throw in this. little bead ornament. I always go over everything that I make, test it all, make sure I didn't miss any spots. Um, one thing I want, I do want to show, if there's enough time on this thing, this, this part, because I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> so, I'm going to take this end of solder. around like that. I'm going to do a few more embellishments and things, but um, hopefully you can see that this is the magic wand. Put it right here. Okay. We are done. <laughs>